want to be uh, having your spears kind of be ducked and dodged away from. So you have a Nautilus in the bottom side of the matchup. You have, uh, you know, Camille helping you out top side. And Nidalee and Set have just engaged. The all-in will go the way of him and the Tristana. As Bob is down here. Redbird over into the Drake pit now to make sure Sheenie's able to pick this one up without too much interference from Legacy. Earliest Drake of the day by far. The previous two, about 11 or 12 minutes. Flash engage coming out as the Nautilus starts off the fight. Over the wall comes the set. Nice face breaker. Bad. But either way, Tapoon still at 0 0 0 here. Seeing if maybe he can set up a play as his jungler is looking to arrive. His mid laner as well. Sanguine Pool from Tay finding a little bit of damage. Spear will not connect onto the Vladimir. Tally is there. Face breaker play made. Vladimir's cooldowns are still too high to be constantly healing, but now he's got it as Vlad is hitting that point where he's about to become dangerous, especially with Sheenie right next to him. Volley Bear's coming in, but a nice Hextech ultimatum to dodge away from the damage of the ulti. Sheenie with the flash over the wall. Bard coming in now, looking to maybe find the lockdown. There is your stun, beautifully done. Tapoon is out. Upside. So he's not going to be able to defend the turret on this one. Yep, Shelly gets to charge for free. There's only 20% HP left, but now the play's coming in. Now INTZ is trying to force the fight. Isle's taken low, tries to get himself away from that one. The Nidalee flashes, but for no good. And that means that the second one is already available here 13 minutes in. INTZ are able to grab it, go up 2-0 in Drake's. Early pool coming out from Taze. Vladimir, as now they're re-engaging, they know he doesn't have the aggro drop any longer, and allowed Legacy to have control over this bottom part of the map which meant they were able to take the Drake and stop that soul stacking very wild card tournament. We don't even have that anymore. Tristana getting caught out here in the mid lane. Reyes could be in some trouble to stun down onto Isles. Reyes nearly killed. Here comes the forward play from the Ezreal. It's two, one already dead on the side of LGC, one on INTZ. Tally trying to find something here. There's some damage from Macau. Envy's still off the side and oh! see some pings going through. Ray is nearly going to be killed and now Tapoon's joined the fight. He finds the Hextech ultimatum onto the enemy AD carry, but now he's the one who's got to be running away. Nice shift oh! coming out from Macau, but he's not quite able to find the kill and Bobbit gets in and cleans him up. The low health bars are just fading IMTZ into a bad situation. Tally's able to find the ulti onto the volley bear, face breaker onto two, but now Tally's in trouble. Now Tally's having Kill to run somebody. away. The pool coming out from the Vladimir. They get the kill into Bob. How in the yeah. hell? It looked like for sure Hemo Plague would have been able to bite him, but the natural regeneration that Set gets when he's very low health was just this time around. They see the enemy top laner up there on the tier two. Tapoon without a teleport cannot make it down here. And that means INTZ will put themselves on soul point. Now demanding an answer from Legacy at each subsequent dragon. Tay is exhausted as he goes for the Hemo Plague onto Isles. Re-engage with the dredge line. Redbird is right there looking for the stun onto the enemy support and Isles is- uh, Isles gets caught off guard. It pulls Tapoon towards them. And so it turns into these fights. Macau, oh, I, was, wow. I couldn't even... Domestically, that at this point in time, they're not going to just sack a wave. They're going straight for Raze. Raze, oh! Wow. wow! Now, Tapoon sees this opportunity and goes for the TP into the top lane, going after the inhibitor turret. Take down this dragon a little bit faster. Legacy don't have the resources to be able to do the Baron completely. That is... Oh. Yeah, they do. Uh, they got Earth, Soul. They should go for this fight. I think they scale better as a team. But they're just gonna outright Oh, lose. the Baron's already taken, and now the fight is gonna be breaking out. Sheenie's on the front line. He's trapped in the Hextech ultimatum. He has to flash to get himself away, but the rest of INTZ is now coming Whoa. in. Look at Raze. He is fearless going after this Ezreal. He jumps right back into the fight, looking to find even more damage. Tally's gonna grab the ulti onto Macau, looking to find the Haymaker, maybe the Playmaker for the damage. And now Tay is in there. There's some bad blood on the back is very useful against those champions. 6,000 gold lead's gonna balloon a little bit higher now as Tapoon takes Baron enchantment on the minions. Sleepy Trouble Bubble found its way onto Reyes and the rest of the team has to protect him. Now he's in some trouble again as the True Shot Barrage comes through. Rest of the team cannot engage. Here we go. Front line, he's being juggled around. They're gonna take him down. Volley Bear ulti used defensively, getting himself away. Tapoon gonna be bursted. Hemo Plague comes through. Tapoon's going to die and Tay takes the kill. Now Tally's on the run and INTZ are on the chase. It's a five versus four on the map. They'll try to continue pursuing this, but their opponents do have spears that they can throw backwards. They have a lot of speed between their champions. Sleepy Trouble Bubble comes through. You can chase all day. Sidestep it, they get out of the way. 
Redbird's still chasing after him, but the Bard ulti was already used to start the previous fight off. It's not ready to go here again. INTZ not willing to back away. Tally's still hanging around. Isle's still hanging around. Bottom lane tier one turret still up. Envy's hanging out in this brush. The ward sees where he's at. So Legacy should not end up in a bad spot here just yet. Sheeny on the Volley Bear still here in the fight. Has about two thirds of his health ready to go. And INTZ say, no, nope, not worth it. Everybody back. All right, Envy might be in a pretty tough position, but Bard is just saving him. Take a look at how much damage now oh. the set's taking. And now the Bard ult, he's ready to go here again. This is why Bard is always banned against INTZ, sports fans. Isle stuck in the middle of everybody, and it is a slaughter. Legacy Esports will have no legacy left to speak of if INTZ has Legacy Esports, but Bard ult, he comes through uh -oh. again. Redbird followed up on that one, thinking he might be able to find the stun. And now Sheeny's underneath the turret. He's got it disabled with the ulti. Reyes running away. Maul of Malmordius keeping him protected. INTZ looking for the push onto the tier two. They've got the minion wave. They can do the damage. The backdoor bonus is not active. Tier two turret should fall. Sayonara, okay. see you later. Walks himself out. Sleepy Trouble Bubble down onto a different target. Bibap not going to be killed by that just yet. INTZ still looking to respond here to the fight. Reyes coming around from the side. Reyes going to be in some trouble. Tally oh. got the kill onto Macau. Over the wall comes the projectile. Envy gets the kill onto Reyes. And now Legacy is once again in a losing fight. INTZ looks for the rest of the damage onto the set, onto the Nidalee, but a nice kill coming out from the two of them together. So much tankiness. The Haymaker blocking the burst. A beautiful outplay from these two players of Legacy Esports. This is the kind of thing that can change a game. So perfectly timed by the set. Very well done by the Nidalee. Red Bird fighting for that Elder. Elder Drake is alive. Vlad is here to try to stop him. Nidalee has no smite. The Elder Drake is fully stealable by the Vladimir because Bob oh. does not have a smite to be able to secure this. Vladimir right back into the pit. Okay, Elder Drake secured. That was big. They couldn't afford to lose that one. Tay goes into the stasis, trying to keep himself alive. Sanguine Pool now used. Burst coming down. TZ can't hold out for two. They at least got to hold out for one. Yeah. There's a double uber buff enemy team. Bard ulti. Bottom lane tier three turret. Needs this could be it. More shots from that cannon minion. And there you go. It's gone. Elder buff has dissipated. Execution no longer available. Stun onto Tally doesn't mean anything. You cannot afford to initiate onto the set. Inhibitor is gone. That's Inhibitor now in two lanes. Reyes is jumped on. Ezreal moving forward, looking to find the damage. Volley Bear now chasing. Ulti is used. Tay's been killed. At the onset of the fight, they're able to find the kill onto the enemy Vlad, but it's going to be a trade one for one. Top laners are down. Sheeny's still tanking up at the front line. Tally going to be doing the same. Sheeny's out of the picture. Reyes grabbing the kill. Now INTZ have to try to hold the line as a three-man. They managed to pick the kill onto the enemy Nautilus. Tally's still chasing after him. Face Breaker's not going to find the target. Stunned up into the wall yet again by the Bard. INTZ in a 3v3. You lose this in hit, you are drowning in a sea of super minions for the next five minutes, and it looks like they forgot to bring their scuba gear. Legacy Esports still continuing to put the screws to INTZ and go for the win right here. Sleepy Trouble Bubble down onto Reyes, but the follow-up isn't there in time to be able to take advantage of the situation. Reyes continuing the push. He's They're got Bobbit right next to him for the heals. He's got Tally in front of him to be able to provide the tanking. Look at how quickly the turrets fall. Now it's Bard trying to stop him. It's Macau trying to get away, and Reyes says no. The amount of damage coming out from Legacy Esports is...